is paid less than her son for doing the same work, even though she's been on the job for more years. Now, people, people have every right to be angry. But they're also hungry. They're hungry for solutions. What are we going to do? And that is, that is the fight we're taking to the country. What is the best way to change people's lives so we can all grow together? Who is the best change maker? And here's what I promise. to actually make the changes that make your lives better. Bravo. In this campaign, you've heard a lot about Washington and about Wall Street. Now, Senator Sanders and I both want to get secret, unaccountable money out of politics. And let's remember, let's remember, Citizens United, one of the worst Supreme Court decisions in our country's history was actually a case about a right-wing attack on me and my campaign. A right-wing organization took aim at me and ended up damaging our entire democracy. So yes, you're not going to find anybody more committed to aggressive campaign finance reform than me. We also agree. We also agree that Wall Street can never be allowed to once again threaten Main Street. And I will fight to reign in Wall Street. And you know what? I know how to do it. Whoa. So when I tell you, no bank can be too big to fail and no executive too powerful to jail, you can count on it. Now the real differences in this race are truly over how do we create a future of prosperity, opportunity, and security for all of us. We need to build a growth and fairness economy with higher wages and more good paying jobs, including a bold national mission to create millions of jobs in clean energy, manufacturing, and infrastructure. Yes. to unleash again the innovation of our entrepreneurs and small businesses, make it easier for parents to balance work and family, close the loopholes in our tax code, crack down on corporations that game the system, stop other countries from taking advantage of us with unfair trade practices. But even all that is not enough. We also have to break through the barriers of bigotry. Yes. African American parents shouldn't have to worry that their children will be harassed humiliated, even Absolutely. shot because of the color of their skin. Absolutely. Immigrant families shouldn't have to lie awake at night listening for a knock on the door. LGBT Americans shouldn't be fired from their jobs because of who they are or who they love. Absolutely. And let's finally deliver something long overdue, equal pay for women in this A president has to do all parts of the job for all Americans to make sure nothing holds you back. Not debt, not discrimination, not a deck that's always stacked for those at the top. We need to break down those barriers and build ladders of opportunity for every person. That's how we will build a better tomorrow together. And that has been the cause and work of my life. You know, Bravo. my family and my faith taught me a simple credo. Do all the good you can in all the ways you can for all the people you can. That's what called me to a life of service, just like millions of teachers and nurses and police officers and firefighters and members of our armed services who get up every day and do the quiet work, the heroic work for all the rest of us. But when children anywhere in our country go to bed hungry or are denied a quality education or who face abuse or abandonment, that diminishes all of us.
Yes. That's why I did start my career at the Children's Defense Fund. That's why I went undercover in Alabama to expose racism in schools. That's why I worked to reform juvenile justice in South Carolina. And that is why I went to Flint, Michigan on Sunday.